Today we're doing something different. We took a challenge of Ursula and I to take a few products, these are the products we're, we're using, and create something. And our only, we, we could create whatever we wanted. We weren't going to tell each other what we were creating because I did like a Project Life page and you'll see in just a second Ursula did a mini album. But it was so much fun to take products we didn't necessarily use every day and um, not brand new off the press. So these are the products we use. They'll be on the blog and I'll try to link them up on this YouTube right here. But Ursula, show us what you did first. Okay, so we've just finished up Thanksgiving and you might have noticed on Facebook everybody was posting all month in November what they were thankful for. But I didn't get in on that. So I thought I wanted to make a small little um, thank you album. And so this is actually empty. Um, but I just took, um, you'll see the frame here, this is that frame, those Dear Lizzie frames, and then there were these other fun little frames from Pebbles. So I've got frames and frames, and uh, this card that's backing this is from the um, Project Life cards. And so just some little things that I stuck together, and it says, thanks, truly. And then what I've got here is a blank book. And so I can take um, label stickers, and I can write... Um, just little things that I'm thank you, thankful for. And so what I liked about this is I also went through a lot of my Project Life goodies and um, just added some of the pieces that I'm no longer using from past months right into this project um, to give it a little more pizzazz like with the little stars and things. So it's real simple, it's just blank. This one I just sprayed with some glitter spray, which I don't know if you can see that, but... Um, so lots of fun pieces here and real easy to just kind of add little details and then I can fill those in as I go along. And then the back cover is just another one of those frames. Whoops. So there it is, frame in the card. I love that because it was hard to use all these tags and, and mm -hmm. the transparencies. Um, I went, <laughs> that Pebbles package right here, I basically took the whole package and put it on this layout over here, 12 by 12. Kind of went crazy with that. I loved it. Um, the paper's Studio Calico, and here I used a badge and another frame, and this is the Dear Lizzie frame like you used, and then some of the um, the bits, they call it. So, And then I, I have my paper clip, too. And I love that little mushroom. So, it's so cute. I put the little mushroom right in my little heart here. Aww. It's hard to film and not shake, so I hope I'm not <laughs> shaking everybody over there. Um, and my hat is funny. I did gold, but I did gold glitter all over it. Just like rubbed it. it with glue. The, all the cards, almost all the paper, even on the other layout I used with the project, like Dear Lizzie pieces. This paper, could you pull that? That's just anywhere I, I had to tuck in some paper. Yeah, I used the Studio Calico and cut out some pieces and just used those as bits and pieces. Here's some, some thickers that I just love from American Crafts. I think it was a... Amy T. And then on my wood pieces, I stain them with um, distress stain because oh, I just okay. rub the distress stain. You can rub it again when it's dry to get a little darker color. Um, and I just did the two to get ready for some other project. I like that. It's got a little sheen to it. Yeah, because that is probably the metallic bronze. I use metallic bronze a lot. So I think that's the, the Tim Holtz distress metallic colors. I really like how you did that. And I just wanted to say I love the way that you layered all of these pieces on here. And that's easy to do. It and was, yeah, really easy. Quick, and yet you've got all this dimension and texture. It's, it's really great. Really great. Good job. So wasn't this fun? It was fun. It was I really fun. enjoyed it. We're going to have to do this again, guys, so I hope you liked it.